guess who slept seven uninterrupted hours in the snow at 12 weeks old last night? This little guy. <laughs> you did so well. Baby number three right here, and we definitely have never experienced that with our previous babies, and we managed to do that with the snoo. Now this video is more of a tutorial telling you more about the snoo, why the huge price tag, uh, how it works, and all its functionalities. I will also have a tips and tricks video, a weaning video, and a transition to crib video that I will release. So definitely check out the links in the description box below, as well as anything that was mentioned in this video with the timeline, just in case you're interested in one functionality over another definitely check that in the links in the description box below. To start this off first, I wanted to let you know that I actually managed to get the snoo for a huge discount and I plan on giving you guys all the step-by-step -step instructions on how I did that. Also in the description box below. Of course, this changes over the year, passes with holidays and Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of that. So I will keep the instructions updated according to whatever season we're in so definitely check that out one of the biggest dreams of a new parent is to have a baby that can sleep through the night as soon as possible now as you may be aware newborns need to get up and eat every two to three hours and then you know as they get older especially many sleep educational programs tell you that by eight weeks old they should be able to sleep at least eight hours in a row uninterrupted without feeding this new was developed by dr carp to allow the baby to develop healthy sleeping habits as well as help soothe the baby through periods of sleep regression like the four month sleep regression through teething or through times where they need a little bit more attention obviously that doesn't replace a person but that definitely comes in handy so let's talk about the parts that comes with this new bassinet The snoo comes in a large box as you can see here. It comes with one snoo bed, one mattress, one water resistant cover, one organic cotton sheet, three organic cotton sacks, and you have them in small, medium, and large. It also comes with four legs, one cable guide, and one power supply. There is an option to also buy some leg lifters, which basically lifts the upper portion of the snoo upwards, just enough to help prevent reflux in your baby. I did do that, but I used a few books of the same thickness on to make sure that the milk does not come back up right after my baby feeds. Before the first use, I took the sleep sacks and the sheet and I washed it. I then hung them to dry to avoid any shrinking that may occur in the dryer. Newborns can be really messy sometimes. They throw up a lot, they can have blowouts a lot. So that is why I went ahead and bought some extra sheets and also bought some extra sleep sacks. Nobody wants to get up in the middle of the night and have to do a load of laundry just to get baby back to sleep in their bed. You can simply just wipe down the mattress after you remove the sheets. It is water resistant. And I also wipe down the bottom of the snoo if need be. Once you're ready to use the snoo, go ahead and plug it in and then just wait for the snoo activity button to flash white. Once it goes to solid white, you are ready to go. The activity button actually changes colors as you go up in levels. And I will show you that a little bit later in the video. There are two ways to put your baby in the snoo. You can either put the baby directly into the sleep sack that is already attached to the snoo, or you can put your baby in the sleep sack first and then attach the sleep sack to the snoo. 
Alrighty guys, so baby is strapped in and now we're gonna go on no motion limiter and no weaning mode. So straight, pretty much showing you the full capability of the snoo. We can go ahead and engage the snoo and baby is calm right now. The app will actually tell you if the baby's crying or if the baby's being soothed but I'm gonna go ahead and manually increase and decrease the levels for you since he is not crying. So this is a baseline. It's pretty much slow movement. This is level one. As you guys can see, he's getting pretty sleepy, even staring at lights. Level two. Level three. and level one. And then finally back to baseline. Now let's assume your baby is on motion limiter. So you don't want to go past level two. When the snoo turns on and starts to soothe your baby, you don't want to go past level two. So you go ahead and turn on motion limiter and that will make sure that the motion stays only at level two, but the sound will continue to increase all the way to level four. So going back here to baseline, you have to restart the session to have your most recent changes start over. So we start again here. So this is baseline, level one again, and then level two. And since we're on motion limiter, as you can see, the sound increased when I pushed the increase button again. So this is level three sound, but level two motion. And now we are level four. We're level four sound, but still level two motion. So let's assume you want to wean your baby. You turn off motion limiter and you turn on weaning because you're not going to have any motion whatsoever and this is what weaning mode looks like. So you just have the sound, no motion. It will turn on once baby starts to cry and it will increase levels again. You can have motion limiter on, you can have motion limiter off, whatever you want, but its baseline is no movement when you have weaning mode. As you can see, he is fighting sleep right now, and why not show you him actually going to sleep, and we'll try that. We'll go ahead and do that by manually increasing levels here. So again, remember, levels will increase by themselves with the sound of the crying, depending on what responsiveness you have your snoo program to. So if you want it to be very responsive to crying and immediately start moving or increasing levels, you make sure that you have very high responsiveness. And if you don't want the snoo to react to anything or maybe just some grunting going on or you just want to, your baby to go towards weaning and you don't want it to turn on immediately, 
you can go to very low responsiveness, which is what I have mine on. As you can see, if I put my baby down on the couch, he will not have this, but because I have him in the snoo, he is very content being in it, very calm, and it's just a very calming environment for him. He loves it a lot because as you can see, he's strapped and feels secure and the sounds and the motions are definitely conducive to feeling secure and going to sleep. If you go to the settings tab, you'll also see that there are other features called pilot features. And these features are pretty much test features that Snoo wants to test out and see how it works with baby. One very cool feature is called the car ride mode. And in this mode, it basically adds a little jiggle in one of the whatever level you're in to recreate the car basically going over a bump or whatever. So I'm gonna turn that on. It is telling me by enabling car ride mode, you will disable weaning mode. Do you want to continue? Continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause and start again to show you the car ride mode. So this is baseline, so just Take notice how it's going very smoothly, very slowly, and then all of a sudden it will have a little jiggle that goes a little faster. There it is. That's the car jiggle. In the pilot features, you'll also see sleepy time sounds, and basically this acts as a white noise machine to, to help lull your little one during bedtime routines or to ease wake-ups after a snooze session, and you can choose how long the white noise plays before or after your snooze session and control this feature on this new home screen. I actually found this very, very helpful because sometimes I like to rock my baby in my arms first before I put him in the snoo, and I want him to know he's about to go to sleep here's a white noise that will help him go to sleep in my arms or get sleepy in my arms before I put him in the snoo but as you guys can see we did put him in the snoo while he was wide awake and it immediately put him to sleep and that is the beauty of the snoo is that you can put a wide awake baby in the snoo and it will soothe him and not just soothe him and make him or her feel secure but it will also put your baby to sleep if they are sleepy and that's the car ride mode right there all right baby is now up there are two ways you can take the baby out you can unzip the baby or you can even take the baby out by just immediately removing these and as you can see, the snoo immediately turns off. Once you are ready to wean your baby, there are actually a few options for you. You can just leave one arm out and there are snaps in the sacks that you can undo. And then once you find that your baby's doing well without being completely swaddled with one arm out, you can go ahead and undo both snaps on both sides and have your baby's arms both out. And that is just a great way to transition to the crib. I will have more on that in my transition to crib video. Let's say the baby's in the snoo and they are asleep and you don't want to disrupt their sleep, but you need to access their diaper or their legs for one reason or the other. I did need to access his legs for the Owlet sock monitor to that keeps track of his oxygen levels. I would just undo the snoo sack from the bottom up, put on the Owlet sock, and then close it right back up. And I made sure to buy some outfits that are two-way zippers as well. That way, I didn't have to disrupt his sleep. Let's do a brief overview of the application aside from the use. So as you're aware, the main screen is where you can engage the snoo and where it tells you if the snoo is soothing your baby or if your baby needs to be picked up after it's gone through all four levels and given it a fair amount of time to try to soothe your baby. The other screen is your log screen. And in this log screen, you can see the daily log, the weekly log, or the monthly log. If you go ahead and toggle to monthly log, for example, and choose the month that you would like, you will see what the monthly average sleep time, night sleep, the monthly progress, how much sleep has increased over the month. As you can see here, it was 59 minutes for my baby. You can see day sleep, night sleep, night pickups, longest sleep, and total sleep. 
so you can figure out if what you're doing is actually working for your baby or maybe it needs some improvement. It will also tell you the total time in the snoo. My baby spent 853 hours. You can also export if you would like and share. Let's show you a weekly log. Assuming we go through, go back to January and apply, it will show you all the numbers as well. Going on to the next screen, these are stickies and they're according to your baby's birthday. And as you can see, as the days pass, it will give you some information relating to the, their birthday, when to start weaning, and all that fun information. The next screen is the settings screen. The settings screen has the preferences that we touched on previously, such as responsiveness or volume. You can also change the starting level, the motion starts at when you want this new log start time to begin, for example, you can change that, especially if you use it for nap times. And then the last screen, is the help and feedback if you need to look at the most commonly asked questions or contact happiest baby. So you have two options with the snoo. You can either purchase the snoo at currently $1,695 or you can rent the snoo. And obviously these prices change as the market changes. The snoo has definitely gotten more expensive with time because with my first baby five years ago, it was a lot less than that. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was able to get my snoo at a huge discount. And when I say huge discount, I was able to get it for 40% off. I will make sure to include instructions on how I got this new at a discounted rate in the description box below. There are different ways you can go about doing that and also sometimes they do have coupons live during a specific season in the year and I will make sure to keep that also updated in the links in the description box below. If you do decide to purchase though, just to put your mind at ease, the resale value of this new is actually pretty high. So a lot of people actually buy it, discount it, and resell it at the same discounted rate when it's not being discounted by the happiest baby on the website. If you're still undecided, don't worry. Make sure to check out my next video right here on this new that will help you make a better decision on whether or not this new is for you.